Hello. In a previous video, we talked about how to build the perfect tense in the German language for the regular verbs. Let's freshen this up. In this video, we're going to talk about the horror of the perfect tense. The big question, when do I use haben? When do I use sein? Fact is that there is a bunch of rules about when do I use haben and only a couple of rules about when do I use sein. Precisely, there are three rules about sign. Only three. You know how many rules there are about heaven? Double as that. So, I say, ditch the rules about heaven. Most verbs go with heaven anyway. Learn the rules about sein, and what doesn't go with sein, it goes with heaven. Simple as that, sein. Three rules. Rule number one is actually the largest category. These are verbs that denote a change of movement. Such verbs are, for example, go, gehen, drive, fahren, or swim, schwimmen. Rule number two. Verbs that denote a change in condition or state. Examples of such verbs? Fall asleep, einschlafen, or die, sterben. Well, that's a pretty big change. Rule number three. Three verbs. Sein, werden, bleiben. To be, to become, to remain. Did you notice? Haben goes with haben and sein goes with sein. Let's sum up. Change of place, change in condition, and sein, werden, bleiben. Everything else goes with him. I hope this helped you guys. Can't wait for the next time. Mrs. Deutsch was here for you. Bye-bye. Bis zum nächsten Mal.